Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James, back for 2016. It is January. That means the January transfer window is open. Hallelujah. And for once, we may need a striker, but for once, we're not praying to the heavens above that we make 10 signings to get a completely new squad, which is good. But we do need to get a striker. And we've made some good January signings over the years, so I'm feeling pretty nostalgic. I thought I'd go through my top five Spurs January signings. In at number five, Simon Davies. This is a personal one for me because he was my favourite player growing up. I had a Spurs shirt with Davies on the back, right after the one I had with Will Fox on the back. Classic me. Uh, 750k, that's how much he was. £750,000 from Peterborough. Think about how cheap that is compared to today, today's prices. Bear in mind, we paid £17 million for Paulinho. Simon Davies is the epitome of value for money and we love a Welsh winger at Spurs. Number four, it's Jonathan Woodgate. He was £8 million from Middlesbrough in 2000. And he made his debut for us just two days later. Uh, yes, sure, I'll admit, he was injured all the time, okay? And yes, he only made 49 appearances for us in all competitions in just three years. And yes, he only scored two goals, but how important was one of those goals? 2008, the League Cup final against Chelsea at Wembley. It was incredible, it was extra time, it was one all. Cross comes in, Woodgate rises, Check goes to clear it, he punches the ball right into Woodgate's face and it dribbles into the net and we win 2-1. Woodgate gets man of the match. We lift the trophy. £8 million for some silverware. Thank you very much. In at number three, it's another centre-back. It is Michael Dawson, Spurs captain. Just £3.5 million from Nottingham Forest. Made 324 appearances for us. What an incredible Spurs hero, a veteran. He was an absolute club legend. And when he left, he had big boots to fill. And I'm not convinced Fazio's done it. Number two, Jermaine Defoe. My boy, Jermaine Defoe, also had a shirt with Defoe on the back, like we all did in that era. Uh, first time Defoe played for us, he scored 139 goals. Then we went on a little break, realised we do love each other, and then he came back in January 2009, and he got us another 135 goals, including five against Wigan in a 9-1 thrashing. Great to have him back, absolute hero. And number one, Delhi. Ali. I don't think I need to tell you how good this kid is. Delhi Ali, what a legend. We technically signed him in February, on February the 2nd, but it was a January transfer window, so I'm including him. Got from M MK Dons in 2015 for 5 million initial fee. What a bargain for one of the best players in the league at the moment. We loaned him back to them. He had a good second half of the season there, and just incredible. He's transformed our team. He's really helped. He's been quality. He's the future of England. He's the future of the world. When we take on different solar systems at football, we're going to win, and Delhi Ali's going to be at the heart of it. Delhi Ali, I love you. I even loved you when you did your Happy New Year wave, so I'll do one back. This has been my top five Tottenham January signings. Let me know if you agree with these ones. Let me know if you've got any you should add in. Maybe Robbie Keane, we made a bit of money on that, getting him back from Liverpool. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like and we will see you soon. Happy New Year. How's it going guys? It's me, Craig Mitch, and welcome to another top five. Now, after we completely smashed West Ham at White Hart Lane 4-1, we thought it was only fitting that we do a top five Spurs thrashings. 